Next tonight, it's been four years now since the death of Dorset teenager Gaia Pope. The 19-year-old was found dead 11 days after being reported missing in Swanage. Tonight, we can reveal that a Dorset police officer has been disciplined over the handling of the search to find her. Today, members of Gaia's family renewed their appeal for police forces to improve the way they deal with survivors of sex offences. Steve Humphrey reports. There was a large-scale search on the Dorset coast after Gaia Pope went missing in November 2017. The 19-year-old's body was found 11 days later. The Independent Office for Police Conduct investigated the way the search was handled. As a result, a Dorset officer faced disciplinary action, receiving a final written warning. The misconduct meeting took place as a result of conduct issues identified in an IOPC report. Earlier today, Gaia's sister and cousin marked the fourth anniversary of her death by renewing their appeal for police forces to make improvements to the way they handle rape and sexual assault cases. It's too little too late for us, but hopefully it won't be for other people who go through those experiences. Guy's family believe the way Dorset police handled a rape allegation made by Guy in 2015 was the crucial factor in her mental health challenges and ultimately her disappearance and death. The authorities really need to start training, um, start understanding how to deal with these situations. I think it's appalling that over the past 10 years, the number of sexual offences reported to Dorset Police has doubled, while the number of charges has halved. Our community deserves so, so much better than that, and that's what Justice for Gaia is determined um, to effect change on a local level as well, while we confront the national problem. Women's justice campaigners say prosecuting in more sex offence cases would send out a clear message. Even if we could prosecute even half, uh, you know, that would be a... a ginormous uh, leap forward um, because it would, would clearly uh, change change behaviours and stop uh, the level of, uh, of violence and abuse that's going on. Dorset police say they can't comment on Guy's case because of the forthcoming inquest. In a statement on the wider issues, the force says it is working with partners to increase victim confidence in the criminal justice system and to ensure that victims receive the best possible support. The statement says the force will do all we can to ensure offences are thoroughly investigated and offenders are brought to justice. The full inquest into Guy's death will begin in April next year. Steve Humphrey, BBC South Today, Dorset. Prior to the inquest, we are not allowed to comment on the details of the misconduct or the officer themselves. All I can say is that Gaia's family were denied our right to attend those proceedings, which were kept secret from us until long after the fact. And this added a huge amount of extra pain and insult to the deepest of injuries. And that it is of concern to us that he remains a serving police officer, as far as we know, until this day.